Howdy guys, welcome back to AO Oni 3. For this video, we're going to be starting on getting Takashi's mask taken care of. Um, it's going to be a lot to do. I've already practiced, I already know what to do because there's a lot of stuff to do. This part of the game is actually very, very difficult too. I had a lot of problems with the puzzles. I actually had to look online for one of them because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it's like, you know, I don't want to waste too much more time on this game. So I looked online. I don't usually like doing that for my games. I usually like to figure out what to do for myself, but there's still so much to do in this game and like I was stuck for a couple hours, so. <laughs> and even after finding the answer online, I still don't know what to do. Like it doesn't make sense. I don't know how to get the number. But we'll get to that in a little bit. We first start off with um, Takeshi on the boat. It's going to look a little bit different. There's some different things going on. Like this boat captain wasn't here in the Hiroshi scenario. And I don't even know like what's going on. Like if there's a problem or it's, somebody runs away or something. But just go back upstairs and talk to Hiroshi right here. And then I think that's it. I think just go back downstairs. I'll move my mouse here. But I like this, I like playing as uh, Takashi because the scenery in his scenario is very, very cool. I just, of course, I wish I knew what they were saying and like what's going on. <laughs> and the puzzles, like they start making no sense, like no sense whatsoever. It's just crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like logically, they make no sense, but um, we'll get to that in just a second. So same thing, there's like some sort of earthquake, something's going on, the boat's sinking or something, I don't know. And then it uh, looks like Takashi's screaming right there. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And check it out, we're actually like in this little like forest type area, which I think is really cool. And then we remember this, this was in Hiroshi's uh, little cutscene. That was the uh, the first boss fight with the really cool music. So right there he was just kind of remembering and this is him escaping from that. So check it out. Yeah, we're like in this little forest right here. And I don't think there's anything to do. I don't think we can move this rock, so let's just go up these stairs for now. Alright, take a look at these statues. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with those. Alright, so let me grab a couple things and kind of do some exploring because I kind of forget what to do. Anything in there? No. If the monster's chasing you, I suggest coming back to this room. It's the easiest to get into a hiding place. And uh, it's usually pretty close, like you're not going to have to run too far. But take a look on this dice right here. It says 4 on the wall, obviously. And I guess this is probably something related to the puzzle that I don't know what to do. So there's a four right there. I think there's something in here. Never mind. And then there's an empty well right here, which you cannot hide in. And then... Oh, I'm dead. Oh no, I didn't even save. Dang it, man. All right, let me get back to this park. Give me just a second. Okay, so as I was saying, there was a 4 in the other room, and then this one has a 6. And then there's this weird table right here where it looks like the center's kind of missing, or there's something in the middle of it. And then there's this like <laughs> blue stuff all over the bed and the, the shelves. I don't know. <laughs> so come up here. And uh, I don't think there's anything we could do here yet, but just to kind of show off how it works. You can move these this thing in the center, and like you can continue to move them. See, like you you just make sure like to follow the line. So there we got the first one done. It's illuminated. But if you try to do it to the second one right now, it just uh just to show it off really quick. See, it's not lighting up this one. It's actually missing the mirror though. It's kind of hard to see, but this one has the mirror. And we can't do this one yet because this uh, pillar right here is missing. 
So let's grab this item as the doorknob. And then... I guess we could go upstairs now. And then there's a five right there, right? So it's like, what do you do with the four, five, and six? And then if you look at these notes, it says four right here. But I don't know what this means. I haven't translated it, so it's like I have no idea. Is there anything else I'm missing? Uh, there's about to be a chase scene, so let me save really quick. Okay. Uh, we couldn't come in here unless we grabbed the doorknob first. Are you gonna jump out? Why is he not jumping out? I'll get this first, I think. There we go. Alright, so let's go back downstairs and hide. <laughs> if you saw the blood bag, I'll go back to it in just a second. But it says A O or A Yeah, A O O three, I think, which is, you know, short for A Oni three. Um, I think it's actually pronounced Ow Oni. But I mean we're <laughs> I've already said it for years now. <laughs> There's no going back. But I think it is pronounced Ow Oni. I'm not entirely sure. But let's take a look at this and um See, it's the... Which I thought even, like, this might have something to do with the number puzzle. Oh, three? But I have no idea. And then I think I'm just missing one item. I think there should be some sort of blade somewhere. Is it in this room? Well, I guess we could do this right now. It doesn't really matter. Um, for this part, you want to just move this statue. Wait, can I move it this way? Yeah, move it like this. And then you're actually able to push this out of the room. <laughs> and then eventually push it down the stairs. <laughs> Which, this isn't even the part where I got stuck. Like, I, f I figured this part out. It's really the next part that I got stuck on. There we go. And then after you do that, this thing right here... Looks like half of a lens or something. So that pops out. And then I feel like I'm missing a knife somewhere. Let me just take a look around here. Okay, here it is. I forgot to do this. This is just the room where you can hide from the monster in this well right here. But just long press that uh, little cabinet and it's going to get you a knife. Okay, so here's the part I got stuck, and I had to <laughs> I had to cheat and look it up online. There's a four right here on the wall, the dice. There's a six right here. Uh, there's nothing in there. There's a five right there. And then if you look at this paper, there's a... It says four right there. And then if you take a look in your inventory too, the bag says three, but I don't even know if that has anything to do with the puzzle. But somehow, and I don't even know how, I still don't get the puzzle. Somehow you're supposed to get 21 out of that. And if anybody knows like how or why that makes sense, please let me know. Is this like driving me crazy? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. What did that give me? Oh, uh, so that just opens this wardrobe right here. And then this is going to give you the other half of the, uh, the, uh, that little lens thing. I don't think you have to put them together. And then take a look at this puzzle. Like, this makes no sense. What is going on for this? I have no idea. You're supposed to, I guess, use one or both of these. And then a bowl appears! Like, what is that even... What is that supposed to mean? And then I get like... It gets even weirder! Check this out! Use this... Cut open the blood... And you get a mirror. Like, how? How would that ever make sense? I have no idea. 
So let's just keep going. Uh, now that we have that, we can put it in this one, and it's going to light up the second one for us. Item, use. Okay, good. And that gets us a key. And then I think just go back upstairs after that. There's going to be a locked door. Um, let me save because I feel like the monster is about to chase me. Okay. I think this door right here. And then just move this thing down, I guess. Um, I think you can actually jump in after it too to save some time so you don't have to walk down the stairs. Yeah, there we go. And then just move it over to this little platform right here. Making sure not to get it stuck anywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go down here. Then let's go up here. You can't, you can only push this thing, you can't pull it. Okay. All right, there we go. So I'll move this one to the left. This one to the left, and this one up. Okay, <laughs> so that unlocks this door. And oh my gosh, I don't even remember what to do. It just, it keeps getting crazy. Like the puzzles make no sense. Um, I know for a fact there's gonna be a chasing, so let me save one more time. All right, here we go. There he is. <laughs> Um, there might be a closer place to hide on this one, but, uh, there probably is. This is kind of far. Let's just go back to the, the one I always go to in this room over here. Okay. So there's even like a little, uh, maze coming up too, but I think there's a hint somewhere that can give you directions on how to do it. I guess if you don't have the directions, it's still pretty easy to figure out, but let me see here. Yeah, let's, um, I'm going to cut back right here and then do a little bit of exploring. Oh, I remember what I have to do. Okay. So go to the bed, move it over. And there's going to be a key? Yeah, key. Okay. So check this part out right here. You see there's a door and there's something like locked in the door. I don't know what he says. I'm guessing he says like the door's hot and he can't open it because the door's too hot. Like there's fire in this room. Maybe it's heating up the door. But I don't know that because like if you don't read Japanese, like you're not going to know what he's talking about. And you're never going to know the door is hot. There's no other indication except, like, there's fire in here. So, I don't know. It's <laughs> They could have made it, like, red, like, red hot. This door's locked. And then come in either one of these rooms. It's kind of weird, but, like, you see, you can go in any of these doors, and it leads to the same room. It doesn't matter which one. It's like a little puzzle. And you just want to use that key you got on this uh, wardrobe right here. And then it's going to give you the code on the way you have to walk. So it's right down up, left, right. Okay. Right. Down. Up. Left, right. And if you do this in the wrong order, it's just going to spit you back out at the original room. So you could, like, in theory, just keep going a different direction till it doesn't spit you back out to figure it out. Um, what do I do with that? I think I, I can unlock this door now. Okay. So come in here. And this room right here, you can... Walk anywhere as long as there's light. 
But as soon as you leave the light, the bad Oni's gonna chase you. <laughs> it's very annoying. Um. So let's go up here first. And then I think we should go in this room first. Actually, let me check these cabinets. Okay, we get the water bottle. Is there anything else I could do right now? And then there's this door right here with this wooden pole. And then getting back can be a little bit tricky too because you can't, you kind of have to lure them away like that and walk around. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> All right, we don't have to go down there yet, so let's just get out of here. All we need right now is the water bottle. And uh, again, this is like kind of a part I got stuck because if you don't know what's going on, like if you're not able to read whatever Takeshi says, you're not going to know to try this. It just, it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't seem like something that would naturally occur as something you would think to try. But you want to just fill up the water bottle at this well right here. And then go dump the water on that door, which I guess like cools it off so you can grab it. I don't know. It seems so strange. It seems like such a weird puzzle. So I looked online for this one too because I didn't know where to use the water. Is it just, I don't know. Um, right over here. But honestly, like I, I've put a lot of time into this game. In the main scenario, I didn't have to look online. I did have a couple people comment on some like hints on what to do. But it's a tough game. It's it's definitely tough. Why are you not working? Can I not open the door? Why can't I open the door? Oh my god. It wasn't... Ugh. I don't know if it was a glitch. I did the exact same thing. I wasn't able to press it last time. Oh, anyways. Thank you. Get me in there. I just want to finish this stupid mask. All right. So do that. If it's giving you any trouble, I, I literally tried everything. I had to restart. I did the exact same thing. And it's just supposed to let you press down and hold the door. And I don't know if it's like, I don't know what it's doing there, but just if, if it's not popping up for you, you got to restart the game. Let's get away from this guy. Oh man. Oh, this game. I, I, uh, I really like this game. It's just like getting on my nerves. This isn't the first time it's been like glitchy for me too. And I could swear I did the exact same thing. I don't know if you have to do something in a particular order or if it was just a glitch, but um, if it's not working for you, just, I guess, reload the game and try it from the very beginning. All right, let me save definitely. Okay, so now that we have the picture frame, we can go back in this room. And I don't know if I'm gonna show it off or not because uh, I've got a lot of this video to cut out, but you could talk, to, I think this is the principal right here and he's got a little bit more dialogue if you talk to him for the first time, but um, y you can't read it anyways. So there's this weird picture. And what you want to do is uh, menu, item, use the picture frame. And somehow, somehow it's going to give you the stone. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But just take that over to... Uh, there's like a pole in this room. I think I might have shown this one off already. But there's like a spot for this stone to go into. And I think... Oh, okay, something drops. It's a key. Oh god, what do I do with the key? <laughs> uh, hold on, let me go back to the room I was just in. Let me see if I can unlock a drawer. 
I'm trying to think, what do I use? Oh, I know what I use it on. No, don't use it here yet. Um, let's go back over to... Uh, there's a door that's going to be locked. I think it's... I don't think it's this door. Um, let me go back in the room I was just in with the, the fire. It might be right up here, actually. Okay. So we can't go in there yet. I mean, we could, but I want to show how to get... Because I know how to get that one. It's another number puzzle. Um, so let's... Uh, okay, just to warn you, this is where the monster pops out. I don't think it's... I don't think this chasing's that hard. Let me save just in case, though. Alright, this is going to get us the picture. And that's what we have to put in the picture frame. Go, go, go. He's like very... He'll run fast and then he'll stop right... It's easy to avoid. Just get out of there. <laughs> and then, um... Let me cut back to the picture frame. Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> this stupid puzzle, man. It's like... I don't know, it's just, it's, they're so weird in this scenario. I guess they're kind of weird all throughout the game. But for this part, you got to find what's different in the two pictures of these demons, like, capturing babies. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. But uh, the only difference is this one right here does not have horns. So click right there and it tells you 8861. And that's going to be the number puzzle for... I think the final puzzle. So let's go back up to... Um... No, no, I guess there's still a little bit... Oh, there's a... There is a chase scene coming up. I forgot about it. So we still got a little bit to do. Wait, where am I going? Let's go in here. And then let's... let's. Oh, there's a couple cool scenes coming up. Check this out right here. All right. 8-8... Eight, eight. Six one. All right, let me save. Oh shit, I didn't save. Let me save really quick, just in case. What is this right here? What is this? <laughs> Look at all these guys. I think I've actually gotten all of these masks. Oh, we're about to fall. Just kidding. So just hold it down. I mean, it's very, very easy if you're playing on an emulator because you can only really go up and down. I guess it wouldn't be that hard if you were controlling, but I might as well show off what happens if you fall. Let me find a good place to fall. Hold on. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like a media death. <laughs> So is this supposed to be like a jail cell for these monsters? I really don't know. And like, what's up with the blue floor? Like everything they touch is like turned into some like blue mat. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, grab this right here. And then uh, just kind of make your way back. It's really not that, <laughs> it's not that hard of a chase scene. Um, even the boss coming up is not very hard. But, get out of here. Takashi's freaking out. And then, I think we got one of these before when we were playing as Hiroshi, but it's just like a, it's a box you actually have to open up, look at, and then press the button. And then that's going to give us the key. So, the key for that, or the door for that key, which way should I go? It's just going to be right down here. Oh, right over here, excuse me. All right, I'm gonna cut the mic out and uh, enjoy the chase scene.
I was never able to get that pirate mask for one of the masks. I'm sure it's available. But we're not even going to try. There's no way I'm going to get all the masks. But, I mean, it's a pretty cool mask. It's a pretty cool boss, uh, boss fight, too. So, um, just come out here. It's that weird little girl we saw at, like, the... We saw her in Hiroshi's ending. I don't know if that means, like, she's responsible or what's really going on with her. I don't know. And there's the monster. And, yeah, Takashi ends up dying. <laughs> uh, so that's how you get the mask. That is mask one of... One, two, three, four more to go. There's actually quite a few scenarios I still have left to do, so I'll try to keep each scenario its own little video. Um, but we still have Mika, Takaro, this guy, and then these four, which I don't even know what these four are yet. They're probably like the teacher, the principal, I don't know. Um, but to unlock these ones, you just gotta, I guess, save up coins for it. Which really isn't that bad. So that'll be it for this video. The next one we're going to get started with probably Mika. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.